month making your craft. So this month's craft is a, what is this? It's a snowy owl. All right, I hope you're having fun. So while you're making your craft, I have a little story for you. This book is called, Wow, Said the Owl. And the author is Tim Hopgood. At night, when we are feeling tired, and ready for bed, owls are just waking up. Owls live in a nighttime world. They have eyes that can see in the dark. But this little owl was a curious owl. Instead of staying awake all night, as little owls are supposed to do, she took a long nap and woke up just before dawn. Wow, said the owl. She couldn't believe her eyes. The sky was a warm and wonderful pink. Wow, said the owl as the yellow sun shone through the morning mist. said the owl as white fluffy clouds floated across the bright blue sky. What do you think she says now? Can you say it with me? Wow, said the owl when she saw that the leaves on her tree were green. Mm, let's see what the next color is that she's gonna see. What do you think it is? You guessed, it's red. And what do you think she said? She said, Oh, said the owl as the pretty red butterflies flew by. She watched them land on the bright orange flowers, which opened up in the warm sunshine. Up in the sky, the clouds turned gray and it started to rain, but the sun was still shining. What do you think's gonna happen next? When it rains and the sun's out at the same time, what do you think we might see? Did you guess a rainbow? Wow, said the owl as a rainbow of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet filled the sky.
The little owl sat happily in her tree and watched as the sun went down. And the moon came up. The daytime is full of beautiful colors, she thought. But wow, said the owl, the nighttime stars are the most beautiful of all. Too excited to sleep, the little owl stayed awake all night long just like little owls are supposed to do. The end. Wow, said the owl. I hope you liked that story and I hope you enjoyed making your very own owl. All right, see you soon at the library.